So, Jai Hind, everyone. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, network layer. The first uh, task of the network layer is logical addressing. So, we will discuss about it. Okay. So, this is Dr. Avdesh Gupta, Professor, Department of Information Technology, Ajay Kumar Engineering College. So, let us start the topic IPv4 addresses. Basically, if we talk about the logical addresses or IP addresses, uh, there are two types of IP addresses, IPv4 and IPv6. So, first we will discuss about IPv4 addresses. IPv4 addresses is a 32-bit address that is uniquely identifiable and universally define the connection of a device that if a computer in a network, in an internet work or in any type of network has any address, this is a 32-bit IP address and that should be unique, uniquely identifiable. No two IP address will be duplicate or can be found on any other network. If there is a duplicacy of IP address, it can easily, uh, as soon as you are configured or a duplicate address is found, it say that duplicate data is found, you are not able to connect to the internet or connect to the in, uh, networks. Okay. So, the IPv4 address is a 32-bit long. We can define IPv4 address as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 dot. This is 8-bit, another block is 8-bit, another block is 8-bit, another block is 8-bit. So, there are total 4 blocks of 8 bits each, 8 bits each. So, total 32 bits are there, okay. So, if we are defining it into binary, so the range of IP address will become 0 0.0.0.02 dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five this is the range of ipv4 addresses so if we talk about the complete range so it is very tedious or very tough to understand the range of this ip address so we have to uh, we have to divide the complete ip address sequence into different classes okay so these ip addresses are uniquely and universal and the address space of ipv4 is how many nodes can be connected in a network? The total IPv4. So, there are thir uh, 32 bits. So, we can say 2 to the power 32 host or 2 to the power 34 computers can be connected through IPv4 connected that is this. So, there is huge number of uh, servers and computers that can be connected in a network. Okay. So, this is how we can define that. This is the IPv4 address that is 8-bit, 8-bit, 8-bit and 8-bit and we can define it into decimal notation is this. So, this is a dotted decimal notation of a binary a notation of IPv4. We can easily convert into binary notation how? Uh, listen, one thing, uh, you do not need to convert the whole uh, given I, uh, whole IP address of binary number into uh, decimal notation. Just take separate block and separate block, this separate block and this separate block and then convert into, convert it into decimal notation. Like for example, there are total last five digit is this one. So, this is can be written as a 31. This is a 3, this is 11 and this is 128. So, this is, this is, this is the conversion of binary into decimal notation. Okay. Another conversion is like that if we, I, I am giving you C9, 1, 2, 0, 1, A, 0. So, what is this? This is also the IP address, but in hexa code. This is in hexa decimal notation. Okay. When we are talking about convert this hexa decimal code into decimal notation or into binary notation. So, how can we configure? How can we understand that this is the IP address? Just divide the IP address into this one. This is how. Now, A0. This is the hexadecimal code. We can write A as a 10. So, we can write 10100000000. So, this is the binary representation of A0. 01. 01 can be written as 0000 and 0001. 12. Sorry, 12. So, 1 is a separate. 1 is 0001 and 2 is 0010. Okay, then C99 is uh, 1000 and C, C is called uh, 12, 10, 11 to 12. 12 is written as 
zero, uh, one, double zero, and this is nine. It means one, triple zero. So this is the binary representation of this hexadecimal code. So if there is a hexadecimal code given, so separated two digit in each block. And these are separate two bits in convert it into decimal notation or binary notation. And then we can convert it into decimal notation also. So this is how the conversion uh, among these hexadecimal code binary and decimal notation. <coughs> so these are the question like the change the following IPv4 address from binary notation to decimal notation. So this is a binary notation and we have to convert it into decimal notation. So this is a separate block and you have to convert this into so this is the 239 is the correct answer. Similarly, this 1111, this becomes 255. So separate block is separately converted into decimal notation. In the similar way, if given as a uh, this hexa code, so make it two digit separately in a separate block, in each block two digits and then convert it into binary or convert it into direct, directly into decimal notation. Okay. So, so these are the classful addresses like we can say that if uh, there are some classes so we will discuss about classless ip addresses later so first we will discuss about classless classful ip addresses so these classes can be divided into five classes so this addresses a b c d e these are the five classes of ipv4 addresses okay so what are these classes the range the complete range is given as 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 to 255.255.255.255. So, we can write that 0 to 127, this is the first block, okay. Whatever the digit in second block, it can be, okay. So, range of class A is given as 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 to 127.255.255.255. Dot 255, dot 255. This is a class A range. So, we can easily understand the, uh, the address belongs to which class by using the first byte only. If the first byte is, let us say for example, if the uh, is 91.200.10.5. So, which class this address belongs to? 0 to 127. So, this IP address belongs to class A category. Okay. Similarly, class B addresses, class B addresses range is 128.0.0.0.2.191.255.255.255. This is class B range. Okay. So, if any IP address uh, is lie in between 128 to 191, like if I am giving this one, not 91, but I am writing this as 201, 201.200.1015. So, this IP address belongs to class B category. Okay. Similarly, class C range. Class C range is given as 192.0.0.02.223.255.255.255. And this is the class B range. And this is class D and this is class E range. So, if we talk about these classes, different classes, so different classes can be used for different purposes like class A, B, C, the class A, B, C, the, these IP addresses we are using in our general daily life. These IP addresses are called unicast IP addresses, unicast IP addresses. What is unicast? If one to one or peer to peer communication, one device is communicating to another device, then it is called unicast. So, we have to configure class A, class B, class C addresses. Class D addresses, it is called multicast IP addresses when there is a communication between one to many. Many, it means the many is the person who is authentic, who has, uh, uh, who has taken permission from me. So, I am communicating to many, a group, group of classes. So, these is called uh, multicast. So, my IP address is configured on class D. So, in general life, uh, we are using laptop, mobile, tablet, or uh, general devices. These all general devices are unicast IP addresses. There is no multicast IP address, multicast devices we are using. So, these are the unicast IP addresses. So, that is why 
if we, we say that uh, our computer configured in class A, class B, class C, yes, that's true. Computer cannot be a unique uh, multicast devices. So, computer cannot be configured on the on class D until unless we are using special devices that support multicast. Like, for example, uh, what is the uh, example of multicast? <coughs> Think if you are talking about uh, 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 walkie talkie, the police department is using. Walkie talkie is a device that is using multicast, uh, multicast IP addresses because all the listening devices have taken permission from the its a central server and the central server configured on class D IP addresses. So, these are the cl class D IP addresses example. Class E IP address, this, this IP address is kept for the uh, research purpose. Generally, the scientists are using these IP address to uh, research on IP addresses or uh, network. So, they are using class E IP addresses. So, for our general discussion or for our uh, use or practical aspects, we are we have given class A, class B and class C IP addresses. Okay. So, this is the uh, decimal description. So, we can uh, define, we can identify the particular IP address belongs to which, I, uh, which, uh, which class. We can easily identify that 0 to 127 is belongs to class A, 128 to 191 belongs to class B. 192 to 223 belongs to class C, 224 to 239 belongs to class D and 242 to 255 belongs to class E. Okay? And when we talk about the binary notation, then if we are converting the decimal notation into binary notation, the first digit, the first digit, the very first digit, if it is 0, then it belongs to class A. If the first two digit is 1, 0, then it belongs to class B. First three digit is 110, then it belongs to class C. First four digit is as triple one zero, then it belongs to class D. And the first four digit is 1111, then it belongs to class E. Okay. So there is a question that if there is a 10000 or 01, the first digit, we have to check only first digit. If the first digit is 0, then it is class A IP address. If the first bit is 1, then you need to check the second bit. If the second bit is 0, then it is class B. If the second bit is 1, then you need to check the third digit. If the third digit is 0, then it is class C. Otherwise, if it is 1, then check the fourth digit. If the fourth digit is 0, then class D. Otherwise, if the fourth digit is 1, then it belongs to class E category. Okay. So, <clears throat> let us take these. Because the first digit is 0. So, it is belongs, it belongs to class A. The first bit is 1, second bit is also 1 and third bit is 0. Then it is, it belongs to class C IP address 110. Okay. Similarly, if this is 14, this lie into the range of 0 to 127. So, it belongs to class A. 252, this 252, it in lie in range of 242 to 255. So, this IP address belongs to class E. Okay. So, these are the general uh, simple question. You need to find out the classes. Okay. Now, uh, these are the general terms about classes. Now, take another, another thing. Like for example, uh, there is a one block, another block, another block, another block. Okay. So, there are total four blocks. Total four, four blocks in a IPv4. Okay. So, in class A, it is fixed that 0 to 127, it is fixed. And these all are variable. These are variable. Okay. The total number of host is 2 to the power 32. It is already written. So, if there are 2 to the power 32, is may 2 to the power 32 host, it can hold. What about A? If this is fixed, so whatever the value in rest 24 bits, so these are the number of host is 2 to the power 24. So, block size is 2 to the power 24. This is the block size of class A because the first block is fixed 0 to 127. 
So the total number of host, this is the host. Total number of host is 2 to the power 24. Similarly, because in this category, the total number of bits are 8, but first digit is fixed. First digit 0 is fixed. Rest 7 bit can be changed. So the number of blocks can be 2 to the power 7, not 8. 2 to the power 7 blocks. So this is our number of blocks is 2 to the power 7, 128, and block size is 2 to the power remaining 24 bits kept into the block size 2 to the power 24. That is a block size. Another thing is that how many number of hosts? Number of hosts. How many number of hosts can be configured in class A? So that is block size 2 to the power 24 minus 2 because the first address will be treated as a network address and the last address will be treated as a broadcast address. Okay. So, first address we cannot configure in our computer or mobile or laptop. Similarly, the last address which is the broadcast address you cannot configure into your mobile laptop desktop. So, we have to uh, minus 2 the first and last but this will be the block size. In the similar way, if we talk about the class B IP addresses, so in class B, if we are talking about class B, uh, 128 to 191, okay. So in class B, first two block is a fixed for network address and rest is for host address, while in class A, only the first block is uh, reserved for network uh, address and rest three blocks. For host address in class B, the first two block, first two block can be kept for, can be kept for network addresses and rest two block can be kept for, uh, can be kept for, for what purpose? Uh, for host addresses. So, this is the block size, 2 to the power 16 is the block size, 2 to the power 16 is the block size and 2 to the power 16 is the uh, number of blocks? No. First two bit 1, 0 is kept as a result for class B because this is the identification of class B. So, uh, total bit is 16. So, 2 to the power 14 is the number of block. Total number of blocks will be 2 to the power 14 and total number of host will be 2 to the power 16. Uh, sorry, block size and uh, number of host 2 to the power 16 minus 2. The first and last. First is the network and last is the broadcast address. In the similar way, if we talk about the class uh, C, then the first three block is capped for, reserved for number of blocks and the last for host, uh, host addresses. So, block size will become 2 to the power 8 and this is first 3, 1, 1, 0 is capped, reserved for identification of class C. Therefore, 24 minus 3, 21. So, this is, this is 21 class C. Class C hold 2 to the power 21 number of blocks and 2 to the power 8 block size and 2 to the power 8 minus 2 number of host. Okay. In the similar way, if we uh, discuss about the class D and class E, there are total number of block only one. The, all the I, uh, IPv4 class D address block belongs to the particular block one. Similarly, a number of blocks in class E also one. And the rest are the, these are the number of host in class D and class E. Okay. So, there are huge number of class D addresses, huge number of multicast devices we can keep in our uh, world and the similar, there are huge number of uh, class E IP addresses, so there are lots, lots of scientists are there, they can use class E IP address for their personal use or for research purpose. Okay. So, in class full addresses, a large part of the available addresses were wasted. So, uh, this one. Because when we discuss about the large part of the addresses are wasted, how can we say that the large part of available addresses are wasted? Just to see this slide that default mask. When we configure IP addresses, so what is the configuration? 
यू नीड टू कंफिगर आईपी यू नीड टू कंफिगर सबनेट मास्क यू नीड टू कंफिगर गेटवेज एंड यू नीड टू कंफिगर डीएनएस दीज फोर पैरामीटर्स यू कैन इजिली फाइंड वेन यू आर क्लिकिंग ऑन द नेटवर्क एंड वेन यू आर कंफिगरिंग आई पी एड्रेसिस सो वट एवर द आई पी एड्रेस इज गिवेन लेट सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम गिविंग यू दैट यू नीड टू कंफिगर द पर्टिकुलर आई पी एड्रेस द आई पी एड्रेस इज कैन बी द आई पी एड्रेस कैन बी सॉरी वन जीरो डॉट वन जीरो डॉट वन हंड्रेड डॉट वन सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल आई पी एड्रेस इज वन जीरो डॉट वन जीरो डॉट वन डबल जीरो डॉट वन ओके सो दिस बिलोंग्स टू क्लास ए आई पी एड्रेस ओके सो दिस इज द ए क्लास आई पी एड्रेस वट इज द नेटवर्क एड्रेस नेटवर्क एड्रेस इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो वट इज द होस्ट एड्रेस होस्ट एड्रेस इज टेन डॉट हंड्रेड डॉट वन दिस इज द होस्ट एड्रेस वट इज द सबनेट मास्क डिफॉल्ट सबनेट डिफॉल्ट सबनेट इज टू फाइव फाइव डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो बिकॉज द फर्स्ट ब्लॉक इज कैप्ट रिजर्व फॉर क्लास ए सो दैट्स वाई द डिफॉल्ट मास्क इज टू फाइव फाइव डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो फॉर क्लास ए ठीक है we will discuss gateway and dns later when we discuss about the subnet mask or classless ip addresses okay so first we concentrate on ip and subnet mask the default subnet mask is this on the similar way if we are talking about class b ip address the default subnet mask is first two blocks kept for kept for uh, network addresses and rest 16 or two blocks can be kept for uh, host addresses so for class b 255.255.0.0 it is reserved for it is a default mask for class full ip address class b okay and for class c this is a default mask this is a default mask class a class b class c how because in class a this is fixed the first block in class b first two block is fixed and in class c first three blocks is fixed the rest block in class c only the last 8 bit can be changed for the host ip addresses in class c the rest 16 bits can be uh, fixed for ip addresses can be changed for any of the ho available host uh, in the similar way class a the rest 3 bits 3 uh, blocks 24 bits can be configured for class a ip addresses okay so so how can we say, we can say that uh, are there are lots of ip addresses are wasted this so let's talk about if we configure class a addresses so how many host can it, uh, it hold 24 bits so these will be the host number of host how many number of host 2 to the power 24 minus 2 these are the number of host to give out 20 uh, 24 minus 2 okay so there are huge number of host a single class a ip address can hold and we are having only 60 computers in our laboratory we are having 200 computer in our laboratory so other ip addresses are wasted so for that reason we have to configure another type of ip addresses like class less so classful ip addresses nowadays is completely obsolete uh, no one is using class full ip addresses classful ip addresses is obsolete So no one is using classful IP addresses. Generally, we all are using classless IP addresses. For classless IP addresses, we can say that classless IP addresses, CIDR, subnets, or classless IP. These all terms are interchangeable. Means uh, classless IP address where there is no default mask. The default mask is set. The mask is set by you only. okay subnet for class less ip address we have to make sure that there are uh, different subnet in a given series okay cidr class less inter domain routing so if we are using class full ip addresses so whatever the number of host available in that particular ip series all the host can communicate with each other very easily without any hurdle but if you are using subnet if you are using classless ip address then what is if different classes then the host of this particular uh, subnet cannot can, uh, cannot 
communicate with the host available in another subnet. So, in today's life, this is happening now. We cannot communicate with other IP addresses. Even we are using the same class of IP address, we are using the same sequence. Even my address is one, my address is belongs to one, another address is belongs to 35. We are we cannot communicate with each other. If we are using class less, the mask should be different for both. Otherwise, if mask is the same for this or this, then both IP address can communicate very easily. Okay. So, classful IP address which is ob almost obsolete is replaced with classless IP addresses. Okay. So, what is classless IP address? In classful IP addresses, we are generally talking about the four blocks. The four blocks can be X, Y, Z and T. Four blocks. But in classless IP address, we have to treat it as slash N. So, this is treated as a uh, slash N notation. So, what does it mean? N n denotes defined the subnet mask what is the subnet mask this is defined by the n so this n do not declare only the subnet mask we can identify maximum things from the subnet mask this n is very important like for example if this n is given n is given for example uh, 28 okay so what does it mean like for example any IP address, for example, 10.10.1.1 10 slash 28. So, what does it mean? It means its subnet mask is a 28. It means first 28 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. First block. Second block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total 16 bit. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 bit should be 1 for subnet mask mask okay and the rest four bit will be the zero so what will be the subnet mask 255.255.255 dot this is not 255 this is 240 when you are converting this into binary this becomes 240 okay so, this is 240. So, this is a subnet mask while this IP address belongs to class A, but the subnet mask is this. This happens. Okay. So, this is a subnet mask. So, by this, we can define the subnet mask. Another thing is this slash n 28, it also defines how many hosts can you hold. So, how many hosts? There are total four zeros now or uh, 28. Total number of bits is 32 minus 28 is 4. That's why 4 zeros are there. So, how many hosts can be there? 2 to the power 4 minus 2. It means 16 hosts. Sorry. 16 minus 2, 14 hosts. How? 2 to the power 4, it is 16. 16 is the block size of that subnet. First address will be treated as a network address and last is the broadcast address. That will be the same as we are using in uh, classful IP addresses. So, first is the network and last is the broadcast. So, we have to do minus 2. So, 14 host we can configure. Okay. So, this N, from this N, we can identify the subnet mask as well as how many host can be available in this subnet. The two thing. Okay. So, in which X, Y, Z, and uh, t define one of the addresses and this is the address and uh, slash n define the mask as well as it also define how many hosts can be available in the particular network okay the first address in the block can be found by setting the rightmost rightmost first address first address what is the first address we are saying that uh, we are using this ip addresses 10.10.1.1 10.10.1.1 slash 28. So, total number of host is 14 host. So, what is the series of IP address? The first IP address and the last IP address. So, what is this? 
तो फर्स्ट आईपी एड्रेस इन दिस ब्लॉक कैन बी फाउंड बाई सेटिंग द राइट मोस्ट थर्टी टू माइनस एन बिट्स टू जीरो राइट मोस्ट बिट थर्टी टू माइनस एट इट मीन फाइव बिट कैप्ट एज अ जीरो ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट एड्रेस इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट वेरी फर्स्ट एड्रेस तो दिस विल बी द फर्स्ट एड्रेस तो फाइव एड्रेस इट मीन द नेटवर्क एड्रेस विल बिकम दिस इज द नेटवर्क एड्रेस ओके एंड टेन डॉट टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन टू टेन डॉट टेन डॉट वन डॉट थर्टीन सॉरी फोर्टीन फोर्टीन विल बी द होस्ट एड्रेसेस एंड टेन डॉट टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन फाइव विल बी द ब्रॉडकास्ट एड्रेस तो दिस इज द फर्स्ट एड्रेस और यू कैन से नेटवर्क एड्रेस दिस इज द लास्ट एड्रेस और यू कैन से ब्रॉडकास्ट एड्रेस ओके सो देर इज अनदर एग्जाम्पल दिस वन नो दिस इज फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ एड्रेसेस इन दिस वन एग्जाम्पल How many number of addresses can be available in this class? This is a class less because the slash notation is available. So how can we solve it? Twenty-eight. So it means first bit is kept as one and the rest bits kept as a zero. So thirty-two minus twenty-eight that is a sixteen or we can say two to the power four. Sixteen. It means total number of addresses are available is sixteen. But the first address is network and the last address is broadcast. So total number of host can be in can be only fourteen. Fourteen addresses, host and sixteen addresses. Okay. So another way to find the first address and last address. This is first address and last address. So first we have to identify the subnet mask. This is the subnet mask. How the last four bit kept as a zero and the first twenty eight bit kept as a one. This is the subnet mask. So Two five five dot two five five two five five and two four zero. This is a subnet mask. Similarly, whatever the IP address is given, you need to con convert it into binary. There is another way to find the last address, first address, and the number of addresses. Another way. So how can we find it? Uh, first address. This is the address. Two zero five one six. This is two zero five one six. Thirty-seven, thirty-nine. This is thirty-seven, thirty-nine, and this is the mask. Mask is twenty-eight. So we have to do ending, ending of these two addresses. So this will be the first address of the network. First address. The first address is this one. Okay. So this is thirty-nine. But what is this? One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. So the first address is two zero five sixteen thirty seven, and what is this? Thirty two. This is the first address. So two zero five dot sixteen dot thirty seven dot thirty two will be the first address. How many hosts can it hold? It hold sixteen, sixteen addresses and fourteen hosts. So sixteen addresses from this to Forty-eight, sixteen. Okay, so sixteen addresses it hold. First address is kept reserved for the broad uh, network address, and the last address is kept for reserved for the broadcast address, and rest address will be kept as a host addresses. So this how can we solve the uh, first address? Okay, the so last address either we have to count it up to forty-eight or we have to do in this way. How? This is the address, the same address, two zero five sixteen thirty seven thirty nine, and the first uh, ones complement of mask ones complement. Total one last four bit is zero in this last four bit kept as a one and the rest are as a zero. And do OR gate apply the OR, apply the OR gate in this OR. -ing. So this will be the last address. This will be the last address. Okay, so 
this is the first address and this is the last address and binary this is the binary configuration how many addresses it, it hold 16 addresses are there first address is the uh, network and last is the broadcast address so total 14 addresses are there how can we find we can find it 2 to the power 32 minus 28 which is 2 to the power 4 minus 2 is 2 is capped as the first and last so that is 14 addresses 14 host we can hold in a network in a subnet okay so this is all for today so in next next class we will configure more about these uh, subnets and uh, discuss more detail about the subnet. How can we configure the subnet in packet tracer? We will do some practical example on packet tracer. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much.